Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing a get to know me video. It's been kind of a minute since I've done a video like this, but it was requested. I went on Facebook and I was asking on there, like, you know, what do you guys wanna know? Like, give me some questions to answer. So if you guys want to get to know a little bit more about me, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first question is, how did you perfect your crafts? Did you do it via school, YouTube, or just the natural artist, etc.? So I've always kind of had like a love for makeup. Uh, I am self-taught. YouTube really has helped me like so much. With YouTube, you know, the stuff that I didn't know how to do, I would, you know, revert to that. But other than that, I am self-taught and yeah. Okay, so the next question is, how long have you been married? I have been married four and a half years and I've been with my husband for eight and a half years. The next question is, where do you see yourself five years from now? Honestly, you know, like, I don't wanna say I don't like these type of questions, I mean, it really, like these type of questions really do make you think. And in the next five years, I would like to have a bigger following so I can just really help people. I want to be the type of person that people come to, you know, if maybe they have a bad day or they just need to smile or if they want to learn something or even when, when it's like depression and anxiety, they can come to my channel or DIY, they can come to my channel, military wife, they can come to my channel. Like I just want to be the person that really has an impact on people's lives. So I'm hoping in another like five years, I can have like double the impact than what I do now. So I guess if I had to, you know, say where I see myself in five years, it would have to be that. And what makes you smile and what gets you angry easily? What makes me smile? There's a lot of things that make me smile when it comes to myself one thing that makes me smile is just when somebody just says like you know i'm so glad i watched you today i needed to see this you have helped me i've learned so much from you that really makes me happy just to know that i helped somebody like that is just i feel like that is what i'm here for is to help people and you know honestly like my children make me smile the relationship between like, you know, my husband and my daughters, that makes me smile. I lost my dad at a very young age, um, you know, due to a military accident. So I, I lived through my children a lot um, when it comes to the relationship between a father and a daughter. And that really like, you know, makes me smile too. And of course, God makes me smile. What gets me angry easily? Lying to me gets me like really really angry yeah i would have to say that another thing that really makes me get angry easily is like when i go online and i see people like bashing other people who like with makeup and they're and they're trying to learn and you know they're asking for constructive criticism but instead there's people bashing them that whoo that gets under my skin like that just makes me want to like rip all those mean people's heads off those are two that I can think of off the top of my head. <laughs> what is it you carry differently to the market? Supermarket? I'm gonna assume that she's talking about a supermarket. You guys, this is weird. Don't judge me. But to the market, you know, obviously I carry my purse, but I always have Vicks on me. I love the smell of Vicks. Not because I have a runny nose. I just, it's something about Vicks that calms me. I, I take it everywhere that I go. So that is probably something different that I carry to the market. <laughs> what keeps me active? Honestly, I have OCD and that keeps me active. My children obviously keep me active. Being on YouTube keeps me active. So all those things, you know, they, they keep me active and they keep me in shape. How do you balance anxiety and stress? And do you have any stress relievers? How I balance anxiety and stress is literally I take things day by day. If I think too far in the future, and I mean, when I say future, like even the next couple days, that is something that can trigger my anxiety and get me stressed out really easily. So I literally do things 
day by day. That's why I don't even have a schedule as to when I'm going to upload videos. Just because I never know how I'm gonna feel. I don't know if I'm gonna have anxiety. I don't know if I'm gonna be stressed. And I don't ever wanna make a promise that I feel like I can't keep. Stress relievers, bubble baths is something new that I have been, you know, doing lately. I never was really one to take a lot of baths. But lately I've been like into bath bombs. I've been into like aromatherapy well I've been into that for a while but in aromatherapy candles which obviously you guys know that I love it's like so crazy but just watching music videos um on YouTube I'm like a YouTube watcher I don't even have cable like I have the fire stick but YouTube is like my channel I will catch up on like you know my shows like my medical shows but if like I'm all caught up with that I will be in the bubble bath and I'll watch like breakfast club but with having anxiety my coping skills and my stress relievers they constantly change these are really good questions if you could only own five products or items for the rest of your life what would they be and why so since she's not just saying makeup five products i would always have a good wig on me like i if i could keep this wig looking like this every single day for the rest of my life i'll, I'll do that what else well, she didn't say people, so I guess like only products and items only. So hair, <laughs> that is so terrible. Like hair, me hair. I wouldn't even bring any clothes. Like I'm so comfortable like in my own skin. Oh, I had to say hair, my Bible, my phone. Oh, this is hard. Um, a car and a house. Yeah, because if I had my phone, I could call people. If I had a car, I could go get people. Um, if I had a home, I could bring everybody here. My Bible, that's just, obviously, that's how I'm gonna get through life. And my hair. <laughs> I didn't even say money or anything. Like, how am I even gonna, whatever. Those are the five things I probably would bring, like, realistically. Do you or would you make your own line of products to supply to your fans. I can't see me owning like a makeup line, but honestly, I could see me like coming out with like a hairline. Like I love hair. <laughs> I feel like it just gives you a different type of confidence. Not to say that I'm not confident if I don't have my wig on. It just, wigs are just so cool or just hair, you know? So I guess if I could do anything, I would do that. I would do a hairline to where it works for all different types of ethnicities and you know ages men women like I would do something that catered to everybody when you were smaller what did you what were you inspired to be and does it line up with what you're doing now I always thought I was gonna be a track runner I was really good at track I was really really fast well honestly I thought like oh I'm gonna be in the Olympics and you know all of that and I've always been a hypochondriac, so I've always been like into like medicine and stuff like that. So I honestly thought I was gonna do something with track or something in the medical field. Obviously, I'm not doing either one of those, which is surprising because I still love both. <laughs> what is unique about you? What is unique about me? Um, what's unique about me is even though I love makeup and I do the selfies and I, you know do all this makeup stuff and DIY I really have like um like I, I'm not the type to be like oh, oh I know I look good like I, I've never done that and I probably never will because to me I'm like looks fade I think another thing that makes me very unique and it's not to say that nobody else does this but me being a woman of color and suffering from depression and anxiety it's just not talked about a lot and I'm very open with it now and I'm very comfortable. It's just to the point where I don't care if people, you know, say things anymore. I'm just here to help people and just know that people aren't alone. Sometimes the depression and anxiety can knock me like on my butt. I still get up and I still push because I know that somebody out there who has the same similar, you know, mental illness like me, they're watching me. And I'm not, I'm not for letting people down. I, I just don't like doing that. I feel like that, you know, keeps me going. I feel like that's one thing that is really, really unique. Ha! 
<laughs> okay, so this is funny because like I was just talking to my best friend about this. So the very last question is, who are your favorite artists right now and why? Musically, music artists, sorry. So I would have to say, I'm gonna do male and female just because, you know, just because. <laughs> I would have to say male wise for singers, I really, really love Trey songs. And it's just so funny because that this person asked this because I was just on the phone with my best friend. We were talking about this just yesterday. So I think it's kind of cool that the question was asked. I really like him. Like, I, I like the phase that he's kind of going through with growing his hair out and just the way he's going about, like, putting out his album, like, the mock reality. I kind of think that's a little dope. So I would have to say single-wise for a male, I would have to choose him. And then rapper-wise, I would have to say Big Sean. I've always loved Big Sean. I feel like he's very, very wise beyond his years and he's always humble. Like he came from nothing, but he ne he's never gonna forget that. Anything, you know, like paparazzi and TMZ, you know, like all these like art, uh, rappers and stuff, you know, they kind of like, stop, da, da 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 Like he takes it as a blessing. Like, you know, I came from nothing. And so if, if somebody wants to take a picture of me or whatever, hey, like, hey. I came from nothing. So I really like that about him. For my girls, I, definitely Janae Aiko. And I love Big Sean and Janae together. Like, I love them together. But I love Janae Aiko. She's my favorite female artist ever anyway. So it will always be her. Rapper-wise, I, I would have to say Nicki Minaj because she's just so cool. Like, she's just, she's so pretty. She's so cool. Like... I just, I've always liked her, so I would have to say her. Yeah, thank you so much for everybody who submitted these questions. These questions were awesome. And I hope you guys got to know a little bit more about me. If you guys wanna see like more videos like this, like I could do like get to know me's or you know, whatever, like maybe once a year, or twice a year. Just thumbs up if you were like, if you like these kind of videos. I know I do. I think it's, it's actually good to have these type of videos because you wanna know the 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 people that you're following you know I, you want to know who you're subscribed to thank you so much to the ladies who requested that i do this video i really appreciate it i hope you guys liked this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye